When first constructed in 1956, the Fleet Maintenance Garage housed the entire Public Works Department as well as the Fleet Maintenance Facilities in what is today's east wing of the building. Demand called for the addition of the west wing of the building in 1966, and in 1980, the Public Works Department moved to its current location. Both then and now, this 12,000-square-foot structure, located behind Village Hall at 1227 Cedar Lane, services, outfits, repairs, and maintains all village-owned fleet vehicles. The key difference is that the vehicles are now larger, more complex, have additional systems and specialized equipment, and a greater part storage capacity is required within the garage. In 1980, the village owned 85 vehicles. In 1990, that number grew to 117. And today, the village owns more than 160 vehicles that rely on a building that is not structurally sound, far too small, and not properly outfitted. There are many significant structural concerns present in the garage. The main bay floor has cracked under the weight of the high traffic of heavy machinery, and water damage has weakened the foundation. These cracks spiderweb across the entire structure, calling into question the structural integrity of the garage. Leading into the basement, you can see the effects of water that has leached into the foundation and is causing damage. Down the steps brings you to the Fleet Maintenance Garage basement. This area is overloaded with storage of all types, creating potential fire hazards. The mechanical room is also used for storage, which should only be devoted to the boilers, electrical, and plumbing systems. The basement has no fire egress, making it a significant risk to staff in the case of a fire in this area of the garage. Above the garage sits the mezzanine, which acts as a locker room break area and is overrun with storage items, making it unaccommodating and unwelcoming to staff. The restroom facilities are also in need of upgrades to accommodate female staff and basic workplace standards for all employees and visitors. The garage is undersized to service the daily vehicle maintenance work that occurs simultaneously on fire equipment, ambulances, police cars, and public works vehicles, which include snow plows and dump trucks. The vehicles of the past would have no problem fitting in the garage bay, but today the bay must accommodate large tower fire trucks with only inches to spare between the top of low ceilings and the AC unit that hangs down from above. Storage is in short supply and in high demand within the garage. Due to supply chain challenges, parts must be stockpiled, and when equipment, staff, and large vehicles are added, the seams of the building are bursting with storage in every corner. There is also a lack of air circulation and isolation for tasks that produce harmful fumes, such as the parts fabrication area. This area should be separated from other activities instead of out in the open in the garage, as it is now. The garage's location offers little room for expansion, as it is positioned between the nearby park space, a water tower, and a drive that is used by public vehicles, pedestrians, bikers, and village staff. When large public safety vehicles enter and exit the facility, blind spots and tight quarters create a high degree of difficulty and safety concerns. As we enter the solution phase of the village's facility plan, a new vision of the fleet maintenance garage will be contemplated to serve the needs of Northbrook for generations to come. The next step is the preparation of conceptual estimates of options for each of the facilities, including potential combined solutions, phasing, and logistics. Stay updated on the progress of the facility plan at www.northbrook.il.us.